Hello everybody, my name is Leo and uh, as many of you already know, NUX is about to, to release the NUX MG400, that is the successor of the NUX MG300. Let's share everything we know about it, also comparing it to the MG300 and the more expensive MG30. Let's start! First of all, all the three modelers offer 25 amps and caps, but the MG400 has one more bus amp compared to the MG300, plus eight base caps where the MG30 is the unit with more options in terms of mic simulations, offering 8 mics versus the 4 offered by both the MG300 and 400. With all the units you can place the mic in 3 different positions across the cab. With all the 3 units you can lower the third party IRs, IRs that can be at 512 sample points for the MG400 and 300 versus the 1024 offered by the MG30. This is for sure a difference that allows the MG30 to be better in terms of tone compared to the other two units. You are gonna have an increasing number of effects going from the MG300 to the MG400 and the MG30. But here the main difference is in the number of blocks available, where the 300 has 8 effect blocks that you can put in whatever position you want, and the MG400 and the MG30 has respectively 10 blocks and 11 blocks, even if one block of the MG30 is dedicated to the effect loop which is not available in the other two units, as we will see later on. Another difference is that with the MG30 you can also have parallel effects for chorus, delays and reverbs. With all the units you can place the effect blocks in whatever order you want. Neither of the three units have MIDI connectivity, even if with the MG30 you can for sure have MIDI via USB. That seems not possible with the 300 and 400, even if I'm not 100% sure. In terms of inputs and outputs, the MG300 has unbalanced stereo out with one single jack that you can use also for the headphone. It also offers an auxing. With the MG400 you have more options with unbalanced stereo out in two different jacks and a dedicated headphone out. Furthermore, with the MG30 you also get a mono effect loop that is not available in the other two units. Mono effect loop that can be used for instance to integrate your own pedals in the loop. The MG300 has two foot switches, the 400 has four foot switches and the MG30 has three foot switches, but with the two more at your disposal using the NMP2 pedal which is included in the box. In fact, the MG30 has also an input for an expression pedal, which is not offered by the smaller units. The screen of the MG300 is really small, where the MG400 offers a 2.8 inches screen and the one of the MG30 is the bigger one. This is a big improvement going from the 300 to the 400. The looper is basically the same for all the three units, as far as I know. All the three units offers a 2x2 channels audio interface with 32 bits at 48 kHz converters. The MG300 has a, a micro USB connectivity where the MG400 and the MG30 have USB Type-C, which is much better as it is reversible and therefore much more user-friendly. In the spec sheet there is written that the MG400 offers 2 dB less of dynamic range compared to the other two units, which is strange, or maybe it is an error. Furthermore, the latency of the MG400 seems to be really good at 1.1 milliseconds, where 
the MG300 offers 7 milliseconds of latency and the MG30 2 milliseconds. I have personally tested the latency of the 300 and the MG30 along with other 21 amp modelers that you can check out uh, with the link in the card above or description below. The MG400 is the unit which is less power hungry. This suggests us that the MG400 is maybe using a new CPU that maybe is more power efficient. The dimensions and weight of the 400 are kind of in the middle between the 300 and the 30 and both the 300 and 400 are made out of plastic where the MG30 has a metal chassis which feels much more robust and sturdy. The price of the MG400 is not yet known but it should be kind of in the middle between the MG300 and the MG30. I would say around 180-200 bucks, therefore I would say a pretty aggressive price. Even if it is pretty hard to guess the price considering the inflation, the chip shortage, etc. So finally, the main differentiating factors are, in my opinion, the sample points for the IRs with 512 sample points for both the 300 and the 400 and 1024 for the MG30. The two more effects blocks offered by the MG400 compared to the MG300. The effect loop available only in the MG30 and the addition of a specific stereo out in the MG400 compared to the single stereo jack available in the MG300 shared also with the headphone out. The MG400 has two more foot switches compared to the MG300 which is a very nice addition in my opinion. Another big difference is in the screen where the screen of the MG400 is much more user friendly compared to the MG300 which is really small. Then I would mention the latency of the MG400 which is much better compared to the one of the MG300 1.1 milliseconds is really a very good value. I have to test it, but I have to say that Nuix is pretty precise for this measurement. I mean, in the user manual of the MG30, you can find the declared latency of the MG30, which is 2 milliseconds. That is exactly the value I have tested in my latency video. Therefore, I think that the 1.1 millisecond of the MG400 is correct. And it is actually the same value I measure for the new X Amp Academy. The last differentiating factor is the size, as the MG400 is bigger compared to the MG300 and smaller compared to the MG30. Finally, I would mention the material, as both the MG300 and 400 are made out of plastic, where the MG30 has a full metal chassis. So overall I think that the MG400 is a very nice upgrade compared to the 300 with a bigger screen, more full switches, more effect blocks, more connectivity options, better latency, etc. So we are getting many improvements and if the price is gonna be aggressive, as I think, Nuix is gonna sell a lot of these units. But now it's your turn. I would really like to know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. Do you think the MG400 is a nice upgrade compared to the MG300, which is the upgraded functionality or options that you appreciate the most? Please let me know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell as I will be getting an MG400 and therefore we will be doing a lot of interesting videos about it. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in my IRs or camper profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, bye.